Last video, the CACL quiz was, what does IPA stand for? IPA stands for Indian Pale Ale. And that's the answer to your CACL quiz. Welcome back to the den, everybody. You got your CACL leader here, Garcia. And again, no co-host here today. Today we're going to be going over belching beavers in association with the Deftones Phantom Bride. This is an American IPA. Let's go ahead and hit that B-roll. You can see this amazing beer has great art on the can that definitely reminds you of the Deftones album art. Now we're going to go ahead and go over first things first as always from BeerAdvocate.com. You can see that the Belching Beavers in association with the Deftones Phantom Bride scores a 90 which is outstanding on that website. Um, overall rating by reviewers is 4.05 out of a five point uh, grading system. So you can see that a lot of uh, reviewers really like this beer and it's a well-balanced beer, I'd have to say. The IBUs are at a 55, which is a lot higher than what we are used to um, or what a lot of people are used to. Me personally, I like IPAs, I like bitter beers and I wouldn't say that it tastes that bitter. It's an amazing beer. Now, Moving on from there, this beer has 7.5% alcohol by volume, which is a pretty good for an American beer. Most American beers are usually sitting around the 5-6% to 6 range, and if you get a good American beer, you can probably get it around 10%. Um, as we've been seeing, that the trend is a lot of beers that come from overseas usually tend to be around the 10-11% to 11 range uh, versus American beers. Now, as you can see, the Belgian Beavers website here is an amazing website. It's, it's beautiful, it's simple, and it's easy to navigate. Um, as you can see, the first beer that pops up here is the Phantom Bride by the Deftones and Belgian Beavers. Now, if you scroll down, you can go ahead and see that they say that the um, Phantom Bride, which we're going to go with them, is 60 IBUs, which it doesn't, like, again, to me, doesn't taste that bitter. But, I mean, if that's what they say it is, then that's what it is. Now, they say that this uh, beer won two awards in 2018. It got first place in Beer Army and Beer Wars. So, it, it's an award-winning beer. It's a great beer. You can definitely taste the, the smoothness of it. And for being 60%, it's not that bad. Now, as you've seen in uh, other American beers, 7.1 is definitely the higher end for American beers that are normally out there. Now, uh, if you see normal beers from overseas that we've had, like the Icelandic beers, they're usually sitting closer to the 10% range than the, the lower 5% range. So if you get a chance, I definitely say pick up a, a case of this just to try it. Um, I don't think it's uh, worth just you know keeping around just to you know drink all the time, but definitely worth a try. Um, I think it would be a great stepping stone into IPAs if you're not an IPA drinker yourself. Um, where, when and where would I drink this beer? I'd have to say that I think this beer would be best enjoyed probably with friends at a pub or a bar. Um, in that type of setting, this would be a great beer. Um, me personally, I like hanging out and drinking. So, um... I like drinking it here, but I definitely would recommend grabbing this one out uh, if you're out with your friends and you see it out there. Or if you guys are going to be doing a light barbecue at a park or something, definitely pick up a case of this. Uh, that's all we have for you today. From here at the Cackle, here's to you.